Hi, I'm Gabby from Ray Studios, and this is the new 7 Artisan 35mm f 0.95. There wasn't much of an unboxing experience this time. The lens came in this beautiful leather carrying case that is very well padded, offering a lot of protection, and it makes it look really fancy. This is an APS-C mirrorless lens. It won't work in your DSLR cameras. It comes available in Sony Emont, Fuji X, Canon M, and also Micro Four Thirds cameras. The lens is entirely made of metal. It seems very well put together. It's a small and relatively lightweight, especially considering that this is an f0.85. The lens cap is also metal, and there is a 52 mm filter thread. The aperture ring is the click, which can be very helpful for video shooters. And both aperture and focus ring are very smooth. A bit too smooth for my preference. I would have liked a bit more resistance as I have big hands and I'm afraid to change settings by accident. I mounted the lens on my Sony A6400 camera so you can get a better idea of the size. This is a fully manual lens, there are no connections between the lens and your camera and you have to manually dial the aperture and the focus. Personally, I found it very easy to focus even wide open. Even easier to focus than the already well-known Summon Artisan 35mm f1.2 and the TT Artisan 35mm f1.4. To be perfectly honest, I'm truly surprised with this lens. When Seven Artisans reached out to me and told me about an f0.95 lens, I was expecting crazy vignetting, awful chromatic aberration and busy bokeh rendition. But actually, none of that. This is the first lens that I tested that shoot this wide with an incredibly high IQ. When shooting wide open, the contrast is a bit low, but very decently sharp. Chromatic aberration is very low in high contrast situations and in ideal lighting conditions, there is none to be found. Of course, there is some vignetting, understandably so, but it was not alarming and very easy to manage in post-production. It's also a new experience for me shooting in low light something that I don't do a lot because I hate noise in my photos. But with this lens, I never went over ISO 400 at night. It's almost like having night vision. The best part and what everyone been waiting to hear is bokeh. The bokeh rendition is excellent. Very smooth even in bad situations when shooting foliage or very busy backgrounds. Bokeh light bulbs look perfectly rounded even in the corners and there isn't an any onion ring effect around the lights. If this lens will have autofocus and stabilization, it will be just perfect. By the way, if you plan to buy this lens, I'll leave a link in the description down below where you could purchase this lens at the best available price in Amazon. And I get a little commission from the seller. So I would really appreciate if you use my link. If you are not buying this, but you did enjoy this review, you can help me out by subscribing to my channel. In conclusion, this lens is the cream of the cream, an absolute treasure. Optically speaking, it's one of the best APS-C lenses I ever tested, ever. I have the nicest carrying case I ever seen. I'm glad to keep this lens for a very long time. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, and I'll see you on the next video.